All right, let's go over how to write a CER paragraph. Now, for our purposes, this is going to stand alone if I'm not requiring you to write an essay. However, you can follow this same format to build multiple paragraphs creating an essay. So what is a CER paragraph? Well, it structures explanations. It communicates your ideas and opinions, and it uses evidence to support ideas and opinions. So what are those parts? The C is claim. It's an introductory sentence. It answers the question. It responds to the prompt. E stands for evidence. It supports the claim. It's data. It's observation. It's text evidence. It's important vocabulary. And then we have reasoning. The reasoning is the conclusion, that sentence. It links the evidence back to the claim and it involves science and arts. So what about the grading rubrics? You can see here is the rubric we'll be using. You'll have a copy of this in your notebook. A couple things I want to draw your attention to. The claim right here, if it is done right, it is on topic and can be understood without the prompt. That means your claim should not say, I agree, period. Uh, you should have two or more different pieces of relevant evidence. So it has to be relevant and two or more. You have to underline three or more rele relevant content vocabulary words. So that means you have to be using vocabulary that is relevant. And then your reasoning sentence, your conclusion sentence, should restate the claim, but use one of your pieces of evidence at least in that reasoning. And for that reason, at the end, your CER should be at least four sentences long. It should be written like a paragraph, not as a table or a chart or anything like that. So let me just show you two examples. Say you were given this question, what is your favorite subject? If I were answering this question, this is what I might write. My favorite subject is definitely science. Science is just fun. I love being out in nature and doing science experiments. I like looking at objects under the microscope. It helped me picture how things work. Science can be used to tell how old bones are, determine who a sample of blood belongs to, and help explain weather patterns. Because science is fun and helps to explain how the world works, it is my favorite subject. So let's go through the parts. Claim response to the prompt, and I don't need to read the prompt to understand what the question was. Evidence, at least two pieces of evidence. Reasoning, restates my introductory sentence and uses a piece of evidence. Beautiful. And then I underline at least two vocabulary words that are relevant to the content. Awesome. And it is at least four sentences. So this is perfect. Here's another example. What is causing climate change? Well, if I were answering this question, I might say this. There are many causes of climate change. Burning fossil fuels like coal produces greenhouse gases that trap heat. Cutting down forests for the lumber or to make room for farmland means less carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere. Raising more cattle means more methane, a greenhouse gas is released. Because gases in the atmosphere trap heat, burning fossil fuels and cutting down forests are major causes of climate change. Okay, so let's go through. Do I have all of the things I need? I need a claim. Okay, beautiful, I have that. And you can understand it without reading the question. Evidence, at least two pieces of evidence. Yes, I have that. Reasoning, do I have a conclusion sentence that restates my claim and uses at least one of my pieces of evidence? I do. And do I have at least three relevant vocabulary words underlined? Yes. And then again, four sentences long minimum. Beautiful, this is an amazing CER. So what are some important things to remember when writing the CER? 
the C stands for claim, it's the introduction, it's responding to the prompt. But remember, this has to stand alone. I have to be able to just read that sentence and understand what the question was. E, evidence, at least two details to support the claim. R, reasoning or conclusion, it restates the claim and goes back and includes at least one of the pieces of evidence that I talked about. It has to be in paragraph one. No tables, no charts, no graphs, nothing like that. It must be at least four sentences long. So if you have a claim and reasoning and two pieces of evidence, that is four sentences, right? So it should be four sentences long. It must underline at least three vocabulary words. Okay, so notice um, when I was writing this CER, my sentences are good in structure. Um, they're not super short. This should reflect scientific thinking and, um, you know, high school level, right? And there you have it. That's how to write a CER paragraph. I hope that helps.